Well guys, it's official. I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning. Kenny is home. That's right, Kenny the cab over. Don't kill Kenny. Um, I don't know if that name's gonna stick, but um, I just kind of thought of it and seemed fitting. Andrea calls it Trucky. I think she kind of likes him. You know what? That's kind of good for me, because if she likes Kenny, that means when we spend a little bit of cashola, <laughs> she'll be okay. But he looks a little different being pulled out of the weeds. It's definitely lots of work. I feel like I've got, I feel like I've got an air horn. That air horn is crimpled, so um, I disconnected the batteries um, before I brought it home just because it, it almost sounded like there was a relay clicking and I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't want to leave the batteries hooked up and have them go dead. So I disconnected the batteries. So I'm going to reconnect those. I actually got, um, I got some night switches. Oh geez, they marked my wheel. Huh. Well, that's a stinker. Oh, maybe I did that when I backed it out. Duh. But um, yeah, those wheels need a little bit of work. <laughs> Who am I kidding? The whole thing needs a little bit of work. You know, I wasn't really planning on, on having a, uh, a project truck right now. I mean, certainly I've always wanted one, but um, you know, it's one of those things when opportunities knocking, you need to answer the door. So I answered the door. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done. Cause of course, you know, as a salesman, I work, uh, generally I'm working six days a week, but you know what, maybe, Maybe I'm gonna have to start taking some days off here because um, I really want to get uh, get this old girl into shape. And uh, the hell is that? Um, yeah, want to get the old girl into shape and um, get her spiffy. And I think it's one of those things where, you know, I don't think I'm gonna tear it down right away. Um, I would like to get it running and serviced. Um, so out of the gate today, what I want to do, I want to get, uh, well, I want to hook up the batteries again, get her fired up again, see if I can get the brake pedal working. Um, cause it's got air, it's holding air and everything, but the, but the brake pedal is stuck. Um, so I'd like to get the brake pedal working so that I can, you know comfortably get it close to the shop maybe even get it inside the shop but um i want to unbolt the um the mobile home mirror brackets um take the piece off the roof plug the holes with some bolts and some silicone maybe and um and then take all the stuff out of the inside um, i want to take all the panels that are good that are loose clean all the garbage out and uh, start cleaning on it because if it's going to go in the shop i just want to make sure there's no critters in it and and that it's cleaned up. So, you know what, maybe hit it with a whole bunch of degreaser. Um, maybe I'll get some some acid, give it an acid bath. You know, I hate that acid stuff because it turns wheels white, but um, maybe, maybe that's not a bad thing with this right now. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out with degreaser. If I don't have to, I won't because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do first, but we're going to get started and, and clean them up. So get a pressure washer out. I think that's going to be incredibly satisfying to, um, to get it clean or cleaner. And I think it's going to be stages, you know, we'll, um, power wash it, degrease it all, see how that works. Um, you know, it's quite faded. I think this is is or was a decal, but I kind of like that. I, I think that's cool. I wish I were a putty tat. Um, we'll check for corrosion. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is just corrosion on the outside and that the, the skin isn't rusted through or, you know, corrosion between the aluminum skin and the steel cross members. So, and uh, yeah, it's just this little shaft here that, you know, so I'm going to give that a go, give it a couple good wallops with a hammer and see if we can break her free and, you know, clean up from behind the seat and just see what, um, 
see what we got to start with. So it's uh, it's going to be a long journey. Um, I'm glad you guys have tuned in and uh, want to join in this journey. Um, like if you noticed at the end of my Will It Start video, I had pictures of some of our previous cab overs. Yeah, see that door is fairly corroded on the bottom. But you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what? Yeah, if I had a whole pile of money, we'd, you know, put it in the body shop to make it perfect. But let's face it, we don't have a whole pile of money, so we're going to do what we can do. But, um, but yeah, Dad had uh, had a few cab overs over, over the years. And um, you know what? As a kid, they were... They were just such a neat item, and I can't believe I've got one of my own now. So, um, you know, this bumper, I'll be changing this bumper out for now. I think I'll just see if I can hit this with a hammer there and straighten it out a little bit so it's not quite so ugly, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bit of work, you know, because everything is corroded and rusty. So, um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to get some water. Get some water in them and uh, yeah, just get starting. Just get started getting an O'Kenny because uh, yeah, I think he's going to be around for a while. I don't think we want to get rid of Kenny. I, uh, you know, I've got some takeoff beacon lights that um, that I could put up there and uh, take the rotator off. I didn't like those stacks when I when I first saw it, but you know what? They're kind of I almost hate to admit that they're growing on me. I'm not a big fan of hockey sticks, donkey ears, bullhorns, whatever you call them. They're they're not my favorite, but um but you know what? They're they're growing on me a bit. We'll see. Eh, I just need to get replacements. Just some nice angle cuts, I think. They're not as bad as I originally thought when I first saw it, but um, yeah, that one's all rusty. And and interestingly enough, this has catalytic converter mufflers on it. And the reason why is because um, Len that had this truck before he parked it, um, he the last time it was MBI'd was in 2012. And uh, that was just before it got parked. And in order to MBI it, he had to put catalytic mufflers on it because that was a time when, you know, to, to, I guess, pass MBI, a pre, what was it? Pre, pre 98 truck had to have these catalytic mufflers. And so it's got them, but I can't help but, you know, question if it's got restriction in there, it's probably not good for an old 400 Cummins. Cause, um, I don't know. I just, you know, the new engines are built to have that stuff. Um, but the old engines, I don't think, uh, would appreciate being choked off. And maybe that's part of why it, it didn't smoke. Maybe why it didn't smoke quite as much as I thought it would have. But, uh, but um, yeah, so I want to pull these off and do straight pipes. And it's going to be a big project. Big, big project. You know, this fuel tank's kind of not too great. At first I thought it was a Peterbilt fuel tank, but I think they just cut the bung out of there and moved it over here. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of JB weld there, but you know what? I can find, I can find a tank. Yeah. Keep my eyes open for, for some good takeoffs or something like that. Um, Pete wheels, you know. Don't really like mix, mix, mismatched wheels, so. But the Pete ovals are nice. <clears throat> we'll, uh, yeah. You know what? We'll just get started and see where we end up. There's um, there's a bunch more trucks there, and and I really want to get the Peterbilt um, for obvious reasons. I mean, I am a Peterbilt salesman, but. Um, but predominantly like the white Peterbilt, it's the same cab as what Dad's Hayes cab over was. And like I've said before in the last video, I shared some pictures of uh, Dad's Hayes and it was um, it was actually the first Hayes cab over. It was the brochure truck and uh, Hayes was owned by Peterbilt. So it was actually a Peterbilt cab. So Dad changed out the, took the Hayes emblem off the grill and put a Pete logo 
on it. And so I think it'd be really cool to get that white one. Um, and when I repaint it, paint it to match dad's Hayes cab over, um, you know, and kind of a, a throwback to, to those days. But, um, but anyways, we got Kenny right now. So I don't want to get ahead of myself because you know what? I got a big shop, but it's not that big. So we're also going to have to find some room in the shop for it. But, uh, but anyways, I'm going to get started because we don't want to kill Kenny. Save the cab overs. The world's changing and you know what? It's the end of an era. It's so cool, you know? I think I might keep them short too. And because, I mean, yeah, I know if he was all stretched out, that'd be really cool. But you know what? As short as he is, I could take it to the mall and park in a parking lot. People might not like it, but I think it'd be really cool. Anyways, I'm going to get started on cleaning this bad boy up because you know what? There's probably 10,000 hours there and the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step or at least the first step. So I think we got the first step in. So let's take step number two. Well, I topped up the water. It actually didn't take much. I mean, I used a garden hose. I put a gallon of concentrate in, so I might've put two gallons in I, of water. Um, I hooked up the, uh, the batteries only arced it once because I didn't look at where I took them off. Rookie mistake. But, um, and I got to grab the key. I didn't grab the key. Dang it. Okay, I got the key now. I even got a key tag on it. Canadian flag. Let's give this a whirl. It is now out of air. Step on the clutch. There we go. Oh. Low air. Let's give her a whirl. Come on, baby. Come on, little baby. Is already coming up. It's charging. 12 and a half volts. Fan works. Got a fuel filter restriction gauge. Actually is working too. Air filter restriction. Water temperature. Oil temperature. Let's see if she'll idle. There we go. Ah. Well, she's puffing a little bit pretty good considering when we started it before. I mean, that was the first time it started in uh, nine years. And now she's idling in my driveway. <laughs> I want to get some new oil in it. Also got to see about getting that uh, brake pedal freed up so I can step on the brake. Deal with that rusted shaft. This one right here, 
I sprayed some, uh, oh hey, getting blowed on. Um, heater's working. So, yeah, I put some stuff on that. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to try and uh, give it a tap, see if I can free that up. So I can go get uh, some tools and try that. So I'm just playing around, see if the Jake works. And, uh, idle switch is not working there's well obviously lots not working I should probably shut it down check it out I've got uh, 120 psi no fuel restriction fuel gauge doesn't work um, tachometer is not working might not be looking better um, I didn't I didn't get a chance to film it but um, dad came over um, this morning and he gave me a hand and we pulled uh, we pulled the bar off the roof it was uh, yeah it was a little bit of a challenge so I wasn't able to get um, to film it but uh, but yeah we got the uh, the crossbar off the roof I got the the one unbolted in front um, I've got some holes there now but uh, I'm gonna have to plug and fill. Um, I'll probably just put some bolts in there for now or something. Maybe just silicone them, we'll see. Um, see how it goes. I've been washing her up, degreasing her to see what I can find. Um, some things actually look better when I blow uh, <laughs> blow some of the rust off. A few things are uh, are worse. Um, just degreasing the engine, trying to, trying to see that beautiful desert tan block. But um, it's actually looking looking better under here, I think. It's not as quite as bad as I thought. Well, some things are. Um, the frame rail is actually, interestingly enough, with the, the larger scale, I think, look better. I mean, they're certainly not great. But, um, but yeah, the diffs are definitely, definitely need to be replaced one of these days. So, <clears throat> you know, I... Uh, Got a lot of the scale off and uh, you know I I think there's we got potential so but um, yeah the front diff I did find a, a hole in the front diff so I just uh, <laughs> I stuck a rag in it for now but uh, yeah, this is not good not good at all there we are so yeah, check that out. Yeah, she's toast. She's toasty. But um, I think what I'll do for now, you can actually see there's some some sealant there. So this housing is is done. Um, so I think what I'll do is 
you know, leave this rear clip on it for now till I can find a better clip. Um, and then I'll just uh, change it out. I also discovered that um, when they shorten this, the reason why, <clears throat> the reason why I couldn't see, see where they moved the suspension because they didn't move the suspension. They, <laughs> they cut the frame and moved it up. So anyways, the good thing about that now is if I wanna cut the frame and, and put a clip on, like who cares because it's already been done so um yeah you can see right here it uh actually on the outside you can't really tell but you can see this there was a bit of weld there and uh and you can see in the other frame rail where it was angle cut uh interestingly enough you know i think that was kind of a well i don't know i was gonna say a lazy way to do it but in all reality this truck pulling mobile homes like when you set it up for it it never really packed weight up here you know it had a little deck on it it had the tow apron on the back so all the weight was was on the back but i mean they're really not that heavy they're just awkward and and you know you got to deal with the length laws but um i had my my uh pointy um pressure washer tip in and it um she's brutal she'll uh accidentally blew off a little bit of a little bit of insulation under the doghouse there you can see up there which eh, was a bit of a oops but uh Hey, it's, uh, <clears throat> she's, um, yeah, she's a work in progress. Engine's looking a little better on this side. Got a bunch of the years of crud off the fuel pump. Um, you know, it's looking better. I think, um, I'm starting to hear some more air leaks. So I think is, um, I think as I get into it and start disturbing things, there'll definitely be more more air leaks from it sitting. So, um, so one thing with this wire braid hose, it um, you know if it gets hard and and it cracks, then it uh, it just starts leaking all over the place. But um, you know I'm hoping that it's not uh, old enough or too old. But um, you know now that I just look, that's kind of rubbing on the frame there. So it's there's a rusty spot. So that's going to have to be um, you know if I look right down in there. That's gonna have to get dealt with, but um, I can kind of hear it somewhere, somewhere here. Um, looks a little better under here. I gotta pull that uh, foot valve out because I uh, that valve is what's stuck. Definitely. Um, see if I can free it up, or I'll just put a new one on. But uh, anyways, she's. Um, She's a big job. She's going to be a big work in progress, that's for sure. That is for sure. But um, just uh, lots of time. Lots of time and money. You know, I don't really have a lot of time, but you know what? If it takes me 10 years, it takes me 10 years. I, um, I'm going to use some, some degreaser. I actually did a little bit on the door, and it, uh, it brightened it right up. So I'm looking forward to... To uh, do in the cab, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm done on the frame for now. Um, I like to get a little more oil and stuff off the oil pan, but uh, but it's not critical. Um, I mostly just wanted to get a look at the frame rails and everything, and yeah, I think um, a decision will have to be made. I think I'm definitely well. Of course, I got to get a rear clip for it. Um, you know, I think what I'll do though is I'll just silicone up that hole, um, drain the oil just so I can move it around here. Um, you know, do everything else first. Keep my eye open for a really good rear clip with uh, maybe 40 diffs or 46s, something that's got good pumpkins. You know, if a guy could get a, a late model truck that's been uh, been in a wreck that's got good diffs, and I wonder if I should put Pete Air Track on it. Or like low air leaf if that would make it a an oddball or if i should stick with kenworth suspension or actually what would you know what would be good as new way i do know where there's a a new way clip but it's kind of buried in the dirt so it might be might be just as bad or worse than this one but uh anyways we'll keep our eyes open <laughs> he'll build up a, a bracket here just to to hold the jack um yeah i'm gonna have to weld a, a better bracket well that's not even a bracket that's just piecing it together so it's not laying on the thing and 
bungee corded. The, um, the air actually works. I need to get a, a bigger O-ring for it, but, um, but yeah, I jacked it up with the air and it worked, worked awesome. You know, get a couple of fuel tanks and had a broken uh, hose clamp that I fixed, but uh, didn't actually take that much water. So anyways, <sighs> I'm going to keep going. I want to get, uh, yeah, get her washed up. I'm super glad to get the, um, the mirror light bar off the top. Um, I'll start looking for some door mirrors. Um, or at least the arms. The arms are the most important part. I actually have a set of non-heated mirrors here, which, you know, for now um, would be just fine. And uh, I'll get some heated ones, some heated convex for it, for uh, permanent. But, um, you know, I'll do some fiberglass work up there, patch those holes. For now, I'll just plug them so I don't have uh, water leaking in there. Because um, really, the cab seems pretty good for water leaks. Look at that, that wiper. I think it needs a new wiper. What do you think? But considering that she was sitting out under that tree for for nine years, I think uh, I think she's doing pretty good. You know what? Good thing we saved her now, because I don't think if we did this now, I don't think she would have lasted too many more years. So, uh, but we'll see. You know what? Get a rear clip for it. Yeah, get a rear clip for it. We'll do the body work, tidy up the interior. I think she's going to be a real nice truck when she's done. Yeah. MC and the bear. Well, let's take and give Andrea a call and find out where my degreaser is. Well guys, it's now 6.30, I think it's 6.30, and uh, I've been at it all day, started at 9, and um, check Kenny out. I uh, pulled the, uh, the wide load mirrors off, which I think I told you already about, pulled the bar off the roof, took the lights off, and I gave them a bath. Power washed the whole thing. I used... Um, I actually used degreaser on it because I degreased the engine, degreased the frame. Um, I'm going to have to hit uh, the lower half of the engine again. Excuse me, I got most of it though. Um, and I got a door open. I got a door open. I got to tell you, I am wore out. But, um, but it feels good. Um, got all the moss off. It's white again. Um, the rust streaks actually started coming off. The whale tail, that was a bugger because it was full of moss. And, um, yeah. <sighs> I, uh, yeah, the degreaser seemed to work good. And then I used, um, uh, what, the orange powdered, um, I can't remember what it's called right now, soap with some spray nine in it. And it seemed to take the oxidization off somewhat to where, uh, it seems pretty good. And, 
I'm just hoping that there's no corrosion behind these panels. I think I might be lucky. These ones are the only ones that I'm kind of concerned about. Um, looks good there. You know, there's a bit there. I'm more concerned about like corrosion with the aluminum and the metal framework underneath that. But uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, there's a there is a ton of bodywork to do. Um, the fiberglass, there's some star cracks up there. I don't know if you can see, but by the the um, aerodyne corner there, there's um, uh, a ding in the fiberglass. I've got holes where that bar was. Um, and some stress cracks. I, um, I just put duct tape over it for now to keep the water out. And um, I'll do a better job sealing it um, in a bit. I do have... air leaks now. Although I makes me wonder if it's the tire leaking air. I'll have to check that. <laughs> Almost looks like it is going low, so maybe it did run over something, but um yeah. Um what else can I tell you? There's uh obviously been damage here that's been repaired. Um Almost looks, I'm not sure if that's fiberglass or Bondo under there, it might be fiberglass. Um, this, obviously those are stainless steel bolts, not uh, rivets, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, this is going to be the hard piece. If anybody knows where one of these is at, let me know. Um, because it had the big bar for the trailer beers. And this is a crappy part. It was just cut off, so the hinge is not there. So that's going to be... Ah, <sighs> that's going to be the tough part. I, I think I should be able to get the chrome around the edges, but getting the, the cover with the bug, that's going to be, that's going to take some work. So, kind of keep my eyes open. And, um, I'm not sure what this is. It's, it's like somebody tried to, I don't know, sand it down or fix rock chips or not entirely sure. A couple of rogue screws. Oh, right there and there. Must have been something mounted there. Maybe one of those. I don't know. I don't know. A little bit of fiberglass damage there. Actually, there's stress cracks around the windows. You can see that. And uh, this side, actually, where the bar was, it doesn't look quite as bad. Um, I need to get some mirrors in the worst way now. This one, this bar is bent, so I'm going to have to try and bend that down, down without... Uh, creasing the door um the door hinge i don't know the door's tight but it's it's weird because it's tight at the bottom here but it's but then kenworth doors are always like that i think um here's some more rust streaks the rust streaks actually started coming off i thought about hitting it with the um um like the acid the etching acid <laughs> and then i was like well i don't want to turn all the aluminum white but at this stage, does it really matter if I turn it white? Actually, I care less about the, well, no, I don't want to turn the wheels white, but, and anything that, you know, like this, it's aluminum, I don't want to turn that white. So, you know what, I'll just get the non-etch and see if it'll help take this rust off and, and uh, definitely going to be a bit of body work though. But uh, take that light off, throw it in the garbage. It's not too bad though, eh? It's very bright. A lot brighter than it was before to say the least you know and the the rails actually i think look better overall i could have got there a little more the diffs you know i blew <laughs> i don't know if you can see right there i siliconed where i made a hole in that diff and um you know the good thing about it being buggered is now I know I'm going to get a rear clip. So before I was like, well, you know, maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can spread the frame and, you know, clean the, the rust jacking out, but no. Um, I mean, I'm going to try and leave it so I can make it drivable. Not that I plan on driving it when it's like this, but if I, I don't want to disable it and have it dead for like, you know, another 10 years. It's going to go in the shop this winter. Um, the big thing's going to be the cab and the bodywork on the cab. 
um, the interior work, seeing if it can be cleaned up, seeing how many panels we need to replace. Um, the dash is broken in the spot. Um, you know, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be the main thing. The rear clip, really, I just have to find a really good clip and probably, I don't know, probably two, three days worth of labor. I can uh, get a skilled fabricator to glue a new arse end on, but I ain't doing that. Not me, no. Um, I could, but uh, I want it to be done as perfect as it can be. You know what, we'll just cut her off here and I'll insert it and uh, you know, we'll stretch her out. Who knows how, how big or how far, or, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a work in progress, right? Who knows how long it's gonna take. Um, one day a week is, one day a week when you got a bunch of other stuff is ah, hard to say. Maybe I'll be able to squeeze in a few extra days, but uh, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a few years before I got, got Kenny done. I like this though, that's pretty cool. I thought this might have been painted on, but uh, but I think it might have been a decal. Good decal. Like, unbelievable decal, considering that that was put on in 2002, I think. Um, yeah. It's really cool because one of the owners of this truck actually reached out. He saw the video of, of us getting going, and he said it was um, road hard and put away wet. It actually hauled to Alaska. So I think it's pretty pretty cool that it did that. And um, you know what, at the end of the day, uh, it's got a pretty easy life where she is right now. It's gonna go in the shop this winter. So maybe even sooner, you know what? I clean the inside out. Um, if I can make room for it, I would just soon have it inside. So, so yeah, can he get some new lease on life? What do you think? Does she look better? I think it looks better. Looks a hundred percent better. I'll take the beacon lights off too. I think, well, I'll have to take the beacon lights off to do um, paint and body work. Um, I don't know. Should I keep the beacon lights on or should I get rid of them? You know, it's not like I'm gonna be needing them. Cause it's not like, <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna be, well, I mean, I guess I could. I was gonna say, it's not like I'm gonna be low bedding or hauling stuff. So it's not like I need beacon lights. I think it, I don't know. I think I can get rid of the beacon lights because it, you know, it kind of messes with that line. And, um, you know, the one thing that I really love about the Aerodyne cab on these old Kenworths is, is the shape of them. You know, just, it's just like, it's just cool, you know, the way they got the, the pointy nose and the whale tail. Well, the whale tail actually suits them very well. I'll have to do some more research on the BJ and the bear truck because you know I watched the show when I was a kid it's uh iconic but that being said I don't uh I don't remember that much stuff about it except it was the wicked red and <laughs> red white red and white with black stripes I tell you I am pooped out but um anyways guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button It'll help the algorithm to get me more views, which will help me, uh, I don't know, get more subscribers so I can do more videos and and uh, show you guys what, uh, what MC and the Bear is going to look like. So anyways, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Till next time.